Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Gardner Quick Lock Valve. So this is the Gardner Quick Lock Valve. Uh, looks quite ma well made, nice and solid. Comes with a short piece of pipe sticking out of it with a John Guest straight fitting on the end of it. Uh, the way it works is once it's in your pole all you do is turn the pole and by turning the pole it turns the water on and off. Uh, it's got a thumb screw on the side here by turning that thumb screw you can tighten it up to make it a bit tighter so you're not turning the water on every time you move it. Uh, we'll see how that gets on. Um, a couple of disadvantages I've seen with it I usually use the I usually use a swivel on my brush. Uh, I don't know if it will work with a swivel, so I've bought another swivel. Uh, this one has got the swivel after the quick lock. The ones I usually use, I've got the swivel and it's before the quick lock. So I'll try both of those, see if it works with a swivel at all, and if it does, which one it works best with. Another problem I've found with it, or I can see with it, is it only fits poles that are the same diameter as the gardener poles. So I'm using the phantom pole at the moment, won't work with that, and it won't work with over eight poles, only gardener diameter poles. So if you've got gardener, it should work nicely with yours. Another problem I've seen with this is that because of the way that you put it together, you can't get it to work very well with the tubeless system. So if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I use the tubeless system from Exceed Innovations. I'll put a link to that up there. Uh, if you have a look at that, that's a really good piece of kit. But we'll give it a go. I've resurrected my old SLX. I've refurbished that. Um, all you do is push the John Guest fitting on. If you're using PU hose, push it straight in. If you're using anything else, you need the little insert just to make it strong enough. Slide it in. Tighten up your top clamp. All you do then, fit your brush. I'm using the Garner Universal 35cm brush with a rinse bar on. Keep watching if you want to see a review on the rinse bar because I'm going to be doing that soon. Uh, and then just push it in, all nice and tight. Don't put the, don't put the little red collet in because that doesn't fit when it goes down the inside of the pole. To use it, you start at the top left of the window, turn it, push your way down to the bottom right, turn it off and away you go. That way you keep both hands on the pole the whole time that you're using it. You're not looking down on the floor trying to find the end of your hose to give it a pull to turn your water on and off. So we'll give it a go, see how it works. I'm going to use it this week at work and give it a try and I'll get back to you and let you know how it's working. So I've been using the quick lock valve for over a week now and to be perfectly honest I came at this not really wanting to like it. Uh, but actually, it's not bad at all. Uh, there are a few little niggles that put me off it. Um, you can't use it with a swivel, that just didn't work at all. Every time you went across the side, it turned the water off. And the other thing is the thumb screw is a bit, well, not, I wouldn't say fiddly, but you've got to get it just right, too loose, and it flops around too much, it turns off when you don't want it to, too tight, and it's too tight to, to move. Uh, but once you get that sweet spot, it's actually quite good. Um, I was a bit worried about not being able to use the tubeless kit, uh, but what I've done is just had a short piece of hose sticking out the bottom. I wrapped a bit of tape around there to make a bit of a wedge so that the, the uh, tubeless adapter would slide up easily. Um, it's not perfect, but it does work. Uh, so yeah, that's not too bad in the end. With regard to the quick lock, valve itself it does work pretty well uh, I, I actually think I saved a bit of water because you just automatically turn it off between every window I mean it doesn't probably save much water but I think it did save a little bit once you've got that thumb screw in the right place so it's just the right tightness it is pretty easy to, to use just twist the pole and it comes on twist it when you're finished and it goes off ever so simple like I say you can do it by hand or you can do it on the glass and it works really easy every time. I don't know how many times I pulled the hose on the end 
trying to get the water to come on and off but that's just something you get used to when you've been using the univalve for so long but you know you'd soon get used to that so all in all it's not a bad piece of equipment if you are a real lover of gardener equipment you might want to give it a go like I said I've tried it for a week and I've got on well with it got on much better than I thought I don't know how long it will last or whether it will wear or not uh, it has got uh, six months warranty I think on the internal parts and a year's warranty on the external parts so it should last longer than that so um, it is a change from the univalve will I use it um, it's I like it but I think I prefer the univalve I think maybe it's just because I'm used to it maybe if I used it for a bit longer I'd carry on but as I said to start with, it won't fit in my phantom pole which I'm using at the moment. It has been nice to use the Gardner SLX for, again for a change. Uh, very similar to the phantom in feel, but um, I think once that started to wear it would cause a few more problems. So thanks for watching, do all the usual, the subscribe, the hit the like button and the comments, share with all your friends. Uh, if you keep watching the channel I'm going to do a, a review in a few weeks time on the rinse bar which I've been using while I've been testing the quick lock valve. Uh, so keep watching the channel and look out for that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.